Hello everybody. So in this specific video, we are going to learn about industry. What do we mean by industry? We keep hearing about so many industries, right? There is a um, construction industry, there is pharmaceutical industry, there is software industry, there is electronics industry, hmm? there is chemical industry, paper industry. Like that, we keep hearing so many industries um, in any country, right? So. What do we mean by industry? Basically, in this specific video, we are going to learn about what do we mean by industry? What are the industry characteristics, overall characteristics of a specific industry or any industry? We will be learning as part of this specific video. Right. So, basically, what is industry? Industry is nothing but a collection of all the producers of similar products in a chosen area. Industry is nothing but a collection of all the producers producing similar products in a Chosen area. For example, pharmaceutical industry or uh, chemical industry, paper industry or construction industry, automobile industry particularly, automobile industry, similar products, right? So, but, but a specific area, automobile industry. So, like this, different industries are uh, possible across the world, right? So, um, uh, what are the characteristics of an industry? What are the characteristics of an industry? See, basically, industry, many players will be there in an industry. In, in automobile, take uh, automobile industry in India particularly. If you take Maruti Suzuki is there, Honda is there, uh, um, Hyundai is there, uh, um, you know, uh, Toyota, hmm? so many Kia motors, so many motors are uh, operating in India. Right. So that is many players will be there in the uh, in the industry. Similarly, they will be developing different products and uh, services. Different products and services. Right. So and uh, the every industry experiences a certain growth rate annually. Every industry experiences a certain growth rate annually. And the market share of the industry is being shared by all the players in the industry. For example, take automobile industry. You know, maximum share is owned by the um, owned by the uh, Maruti Suzuki in India. Maximum automobile share is uh, um, market share is uh, from the um, Maruti, right? Similarly, take Maggi noodles. Oh, it has got more uh, market share in noodles, right? Similarly, take toothpaste. Colgate has got market share um, in India. So, like this, uh, different industries, uh, different players uh, will have. Mm, different uh, varying market rates, varying market share, varying market share, and also another characteristic of industry. Each industry has got certain revenues, certain revenues. All these revenues contribute to the Indian economy, or you know, whichever the country industry is operating, that specific country's economy. All these industries' revenues put together contribute to the country's economy. Country's economy. So, for example, take uh, software industry. Indian software industry is mm, generating 200 billion dollars of revenue. 200 billion dollars of revenue that contributes to the economy. Similarly, retail industry size is around um, 700 billion dollars. Like this, each industry mm, has got certain revenues contributing to the economy. Contributing to the economy. So, like this, and also one more characteristic of industries are in a, see in any economic cycle, only certain industries grow and certain industries experience uh, do, um, slowdown. Certain industries experience slowdown. In any economic cycle, only five, 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 six industries are growing up, means another five, six industries will be at slower pace, you know, uh, will be. It is slower play. That is uh, quite possible in an economic cycle. That is another nature of uh, industry. And also, industries, as we discussed, they develop uh, production services, right? So, industries, uh, they export uh, different products, uh, products, what is that they are, they are developing to another countries. That is also another characteristic of industry. Similarly, different industries attract investments, foreign direct investment, FDI. That is also quite possible. For example, take Indian scenario. Indian scenario, you know, even retail sector, if, if you are a single brand, uh, in a single brand company, then uh, FDI is allowed in uh, retail sector as well. Similarly, agriculture sector in India also is allowing FDI, foreign direct investment. Like this, different industries, uh, you know, um, yellow investments uh, as part of FDI policy. That is also one of the characteristic of uh, industries. Industries export to goods and services. That is another another characteristic, right? 
and also industries are bound by the regulatory guidelines so that is also one more uh, and sometimes some industries experience um, certain government incentives and uh, benefits that is also another characteristic of industry for example take uh, software industry they have enjoyed almost 10, 10, 10 to 12 years uh, tax breaks in the country Similarly, you know, now there are many incentives for electrical uh, uh, vehicle manufacturers if they procure uh, um, raw material from the domestically, if they can, can procure uh, raw material for the electrical vehicles, there are certain incentives. So domi domestic equipment manufacturers, if they take uh, as vendors, there are certain incentives. Like this, different industries experience uh, different tax breaks and different incentives you know, based on the um, industrial growth rate or you know based on the policies of the nation nation uh, they vary annually right so different incentives and different tax breaks will be there for experienced by the industries similarly another nature of industry is the industry provides employment industry provides employment you no know, industries are uh, employment generators right so basically for example take software industry indian software industry is providing employment to 4 million to 4.5 million uh, workers in the country 4 million to 4.5 million workers uh, in the country that is providing employment that is also one of the characteristic of industry right so similarly industries uh, uh, another characteristic is you know basically uh, they depend on the uh, vendors industries they depend on the vendors if it is automobile uh, manufacturer they depend on the um, equipment uh, manufacturers right so like this uh, the dj uh, for example and uh, there is one investment uh, are revenues generated by an industry means there will be dependent industries in that uh, area there will be dependent industries for example i will tell you if you make 1 billion dollar investment in a project investment that is going to generate 8 billion dollars uh, of uh, economic value over a period of 10 to 15 years if you are investing 1 billion dollar it is going to generate 8 billion dollars of economic value um, over a period of uh, 10 to 15 years 20 years that is quite possible because uh, the example is, for example, there is software industry means the revenue generated by that industry in that area, there, are, there is software industry. So, the surrounding that, there will be automobile showrooms, there will be hospitals, there will be hotels, there will be um, petrol pumps in the surrounding area. What are all these things? There will be real estate uh, industry. All these things, these are all dependent sectors over the software industry. These are all the dependent sectors over the software industry. The revenue generated by this industry is uh, useful in creating economic value in all these dependent industries. That is one of the characteristic of industry. That is one of the characteristic of industry. And also in industries also, you know, sometimes there will be government players and also the private players. Industries also, you know, private sector is also there, you know, public sector is also there. Right. So, and like this, different companies uh, share the market uh, share in any, in any country, you know, uh, and the more uh, size is there, industry size, more size, for example, retail industry, 700 billion dollars, uh, for uh, new entrants, it will be easy, if the market size is, uh, if the market size is uh, more, uh, it is easy for the new entrants uh, to enter into the market went into the market many players will get opportunity to operate in a large sized industry right so and also as investment strategy one more strategy investment purpose organizations investing in the growing industries for example different industries experience different growth rate uh, annually some industries experience double digit growth rate and some industries experience single digit growth rate and some industries experience even negative growth rate also negative growth rate as well that is quite possible so different organizations as part of their diversification strategy they go for you know uh, uh, industries uh, experiencing double digit growth rate for example fin technology industry hmm? fin technology financial technologies like they like that you know different uh, companies invest in uh, uh, another startups that is also you know as part of you know they observed that the specific industry is experiencing double digit growth rate double digit growth rate like this these are all the characteristic of an industry 
industrial revenue so all the industry revenue is put together contributes to the uh, country's economy country's economy so so for what are the example of industries for example we have seen uh, automobile industry we have seen steel industry these are the couple of examples of oh, industries right thank you thank you everybody so for what did we learned we have seen what is the meaning of industry and what are the characteristics of industry also we have learned as part of this specific uh, video right thank you thank you everybody